In lesson one, we learned to simplify fractions by using the greatest common factor, or GCF. In lesson two, we're going to learn three different ways to find the GCF in order to make students faster at finding it. Here are the three methods. First, we're going to use full factoring. Then, we're going to save time by using the shortcut. And finally, we'll learn to use the magic question, which can be even faster than the shortcut. Let's try the first method first. So using full factoring, find the GCF of 4 and 16. Let's factor the 4. 1 and 4, and 2 and 2. I'll just write the 2 once. Factors of 16, 1 and 16, 2 and 8, and 4 and 4. Now, are there any common factors? We have 1 and 1, 2 and 2, and 4 and 4. Now, what is the greatest common factor? And it's pretty obvious, the greatest common factor is 4. That's using full factoring. Let's move on to the shortcut. It turns out that when you're finding the GCF between two numbers, you don't need to factor both numbers. You only need to factor the smaller one. So in this example, don't factor the 4 and the 16, just factor the 4, which is a smaller number. So factors of 4 are 1 and 4, and 2 and 2. Now, just like in real life, start at the bottom and work your way up. And ask yourself this question. Can you do 16 divided by 4 evenly? Answer is yes, circle, and star. That's your answer. And you'll notice it's the exact same answer that we got when we did full factoring. So that is the shortcut. Now, let's learn how to ask the magic question. Before you do any factoring, just ask yourself the magic question, which goes like this. Can you do 16 divided by 4 evenly? The answer is yes, so circle and star, and there's your answer. And you'll notice it's the exact same answer as we got using the shortcut and using full factoring. So those are the three methods for finding the GCF. Let's take a look at another example. Here, letter B, find the GCF of 18 and 6 using full factoring. 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. Factors of 6, 1 and 6, 2 and 3. What are the common factors? We have 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3, and 6 and 6. What is the greatest common factor? And the answer is 6. Now let's try using the shortcut. Don't factor both the 18 and the 6. Only factor the smaller number, which is the 6. So we have 1 and 6, 2 and 3. And just like in real life, work your way up. So can you do 18 divided by 6 evenly? Answer is yes, circle and star, and you're done. Now let's try asking the magic question. Don't do any factoring and just ask, can you do 18 divided by 6 evenly? Answer is yes, circle and star, and there's your answer. You'll notice that we got the same answer every single time. So let's recap how this works. No matter which method you used, you always got the same answer. Which method was the fastest? And that would be the magic question. Now, sometimes the magic question doesn't work. And if the magic question doesn't work, use the shortcut, but never again do you have to use full factoring in order to find the answer. So let's take a look at an example of where the magic question doesn't work and you'll have to use a shortcut instead. Here is box C. We're going to find the GCF of 10 and 8, but we're going to start off with the magic question, which can be the shortest technique. So we're going to divide the larger number by the smaller number. 
can you divide 10 by 8 evenly? Answer is no. So I'll just write down that it doesn't work. And since the magic question doesn't work, let's use a shortcut. For the shortcut, you don't have to factor the 10 and the 8, just factor the smaller number, the 8. So here, we have 1 and 8, and 2 and 4. Just like in real life, start at the bottom and work your way up. Can you do 10 divided by 8 evenly? Answer is no, so cross it off. 10 divided by 4? No, cross it off. 10 divided by 2? Yes. Circle and star, and that is your answer. Now, we're going to use full factoring to check. Even though we don't have to, we know we're going to get the same answer, but we just want to prove that it works. So let's use full factoring. Factor both the 10 and the 8. Factor the 10, we have 1 and 10, and 2 and 5. For 8, we have 1 and 8, and 2 and 4. Are there any common factors? Yes, we have 1 and 1, and 2 and 2. What is the greatest common factor? It's pretty obvious, the answer is 2. And you'll notice that we got the same answer as when we used the shortcut. We ended up doing a lot more work, but this just showed that we got the same answer. Let's take a look at one more example. Here's box D. GCF of 6 and 8, using the magic question first. So larger number divided by the smaller number. Can you do 8 divided by 6 evenly? Answer is no. So the magic question doesn't work. If the magic question doesn't work, use the shortcut, which will work. Don't factor both the 6 and the 8, only factor the smaller number. So for 6, we have 1 and 6, and 2 and 3. Just like in real life, start at the bottom and work your way up. Can you do 8 divided by 6 evenly? No, cross it off. 8 divided by 3? No. Cross it off. 8 divided by 2, yes. Circle and star, and you're done. Now, just to prove that it works, let's go ahead and use full factoring, even though normally you wouldn't have to. So let's factor the 6. 1 and 6, 2 and 3. Factor the 8, 1 and 8, 2 and 4. Are there any common factors? We have 1 and 1, 2 and 2. What is the greatest common factor? And the answer is 2. And you'll notice, same answer as when we use the shortcut. So both of these examples show what happened when the magic question doesn't work. If the magic question doesn't work, use the shortcut. But never again do you have to use full factoring in order to find the answer. In this last section, students are going to find the GCF using the most efficient method possible. That means they should ask the magic question first and use the shortcut only if necessary. And you'll notice that it says here, do not use full factoring. So let's take a look at Boxy. Here, ask the magic question first. Larger number divided by the smaller number. Can you do 24 divided by 6 evenly? Answer is yes. Circle and star, and you're done. Here, it says use the shortcut only if necessary. Did we need to use the shortcut? No, because the magic question worked. So I'll write down not necessary. Letter F, find the GCF of 8 and 12. Ask the magic question, larger number divided by the smaller number. Can you do 12 divided by 8 evenly? Answer is no, it doesn't work. So in this situation, we have to use the shortcut. For the shortcut, don't factor both the 8 and the 12, just factor the smaller number. 1 and 8, 2 and 4. Just like in real life, start at the bottom and work your way up. Can you do 12 divided by 8 evenly? No, cross it off. 12 divided by 4, yes. Circle and star, and you're done. 
last one. GCF of 4 and 9, 14 and 9. Ask the magic question, larger number divided by the smaller number. Can you do 14 divided by 9 evenly? No. So this doesn't work. If the magic question doesn't work, use the shortcut. Don't factor both the 14 and the 9, only factor the smaller number. Here we have 1 and 9 and 3 and 3. Just like in real life, start at the bottom and work your way up. Can you do 14 divided by 9 evenly? No, cross it off. 14 divided by 3? No, cross it off. 14 divided by 1? Yes, circle and star, and that's your GCF.